project is sponsored by PCBWay. This year, PCBWay is celebrating the 10th anniversary of its successful existence. On the occasion of this event, PCBWay provided its users with more conveniences such as big savings for certain products as well as discount of up to 80%. From July 1st to July 31st, log into the PCBWay site and start the PCBWay 10th anniversary tour while you will enjoy, enjoy coupons, lucky draw, exclusive badges, unboxing blind boxes and many other surprises. PCB Way is always your great choice. Hello, an analog VU meter or volume unit meter is a device used into audio equipment to display the level of audio signal in decibels. It is commonly found on audio mixing consoles, amplifiers and other audio equipment. The primary purpose of a VU meter is to provide a visual representation of the audio signal's amplitude, helping users monitor and control the signal level to prevent distortions of or ensure a proper recording and playback. Despite the prevalence of digital meters, analog VU meters are still appreciated for their nostalgic and classic appearance and many audio enthusiasts prefer their aesthetic and the way they visually represent audio signals. Unfortunately, even nowadays these instruments are relatively expensive and their price is higher than uh, several hundred dollars. This time I'll present you a way to make such an instrument yourself, which according to the characteristics does, does not lag behind commercial devices of this type. The most expensive part of these few meters are of course the galvanometers, uh, which are actually precision microamp meters with a moving needle. Such instruments were commonly used in sound recording devices manufactured at the end of the last century and can be easily be found in electronic waste disposal sites. In particular, I bought for a $10 an old deflective Ucher 4200 record monitor tape recorder that consists two marked uh, round VU meters with built-in backlight. These instruments need to be connected to to an audio signal source in some way. For this purpose is used an electronic circuit driver which can be of passive or active type. The passive driver is simple to build but it is relative but is relatively insensitive because you must overcome the voltage drop of the diodes with the with the uh, useful signal. In that case they are usually connected to the output of the, of the amplifier and represent actually a power meters. An active driver contains integrated circuits, circuits of transistor as an amplifier and despite the fact that the fact that it is very sensitive also has a high input resistance and does not affect the source signals at all. In this particular project I will use two identical active drivers for both channels. The device is relatively simple to build and consists of several parts. Two microamp meters, an operational amplifier integrated circuit. I used TL081, but another similar can be used. Some passive elements, uh, capacitors, resistors, and diodes, and a potentiometer that change uh, the input sensitivity and serves to calibrate to calibrating the VU meter. I also edit a peak meter circuit uh, who, uh, who, whose function uh, is each time when the signal exceeds the specified uh, level turns on a red LED. It was easiest for me to use a microcontroller for this purpose uh, I, uh, because I can very simple and precise, precisely set the activation threshold of the LEDs in the code. This is an Arduino Nano clone that costs less than two dollars and doesn't add much to the cost of the whole device. Of course, if you, if you have if you have no experience with microcontrollers, you can make a very simple peak meter with transistors. Uh, if we use the VU meter as an independent device, as in my case, 
there is no need for calibration and the sensitivity can be adjusted with the potentiometer. Uh, another option is to embed it in some audio device, for example between the preamplifier and the output amplifier, in which, in which case we need to calibrate using a reference calibrated factory view meter. And now let's see how the device works in real conditions. Uh, we take the audio signal from the sound card of the PC to the input of the VU meter and from the on, and from there it continues to the input of the audio amplifier. In this way the VU meter shows the level of the input signal regardless of the intensity of the output volume. For a better visual impression, I made the appropriate rings on a 3D printer and I installed the uh, entire device in a box made of PVC material with a thickness of 3 and 5 mm and covered with self-adhesive colored wallpaper. Finally the device is powered by 12V DC. And now let's see how this device is made. 